Good evening, folks. Logan Giles with StormIntercepted.com on your September 12th, 2020 update on today's weather in Salisbury and the Delmarva in general. We enjoyed a relatively nice fall lake day almost with low humidity and a high which got to 77, which was right on the forecast. And the forecast low was a nice cool crisp 62 degrees, which was in the morning. Again, as forecasted. So pretty good forecast overall which makes me happy, which makes you all happy, because I know you all depend on the accuracy. Right, so switching gears to the next couple days, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Let's start with Sunday. Sunday, as the well-advertised warm front, will lift north of us. You can see those southwest winds, and maybe some south winds, so south-southwest winds will be moving back in once that warm front lifts north. Right around 12 to to 2 o'clock on Sunday. So if you're outside, you may notice a little little increase in temperature. It's not going to be noticeable. The forecast height is only going to be in the low 80s, but that humidity is going to be back, unfortunately. It's not going to be too unbearable, but it is going to be more noticeable. Like today, the dew point was right around, six, around 60 degrees, which is not that humid compared to what it has been for the last few months or so, but it is going to be humid. Dew point's going to be low 70s, so it is going to feel like the mid 80s away from the coast, while probably the low, low 80s right on the coast. So, not a bad day tomorrow. There is going to be some cloud cover in the morning, but that should clear because there's a cold front coming through, and there's going to be moisture trapped from a surface trough off the coast of the Carolinas. So don't be surprised to see cloud cover if you wake up in the morning, but that will clear somewhat in the afternoon. So you might see some poly cloudy skies, mostly sunny, poly sunny skies, poly cloudy skies. But there is going to be clouds for the entire day. But that sun is expected to come back up as the afternoon goes on. Now switching gears to to Monday, start of the work week, school if you have in person. We do have a cold front coming through, but models are kind of hesitant if it's going to be like a wet cold front. So is it going to rain when that cold front moves through? Or is it going to be a dry cold front, which means no rain? I would lean no precip, but I'm just going to put it as a small chance, like 20 to 30% chance of rain throughout the Delmarva. But if it's going to be anything, it's going to be less than a tenth of an inch, most likely. This is the name. Right here, it's pretty much in agreement with the forecast guidance for, for the most part, but again, some have more, some have less. If it does fall, it's really not going to be a whole lot, just some light showers. So here's that, um, so Tuesday, it's uh, a little bit interesting, especially along the coast. Inland, and not really a concern, big area of high pressure, just some wind and some clouds and sun. But on the coast, this is when things are interesting. Um... So we have a big area of high pressure, as you can see, up in New York. And we have uh, Sally down south. That's not going to be an issue for us until down the road, just maybe some light showers at the end of the week. But for right now, we have a big area of high pressure over uh, over upstate New York in the uh, Adirondacks Mountains, which will sink down a little bit. As the day goes on on Tuesday, and that will create breezy conditions, especially along the coast. You're talking about that south, that um, those winds being a little breezy. And we have Hurricane Paulette, which is going to move, of course, just off the coast. Not, not just off the coast, I'm sorry. It'll, the only impact for us will be large surf. The only land impact is going to be Bermuda, where they might be dealing with a Category 2 or 3 hurricane on Tuesday. Whether that makes landfall, whether that brushes the coast of Bermuda is really the only answer we don't know. What we do know is that they will get direct impacts from Hurricane Paulette. What we will get here in Delmarva is some pretty some pretty decent waves. The National Weather Service right now, they are forecasting five to eight feet of five to eight foot waves. I did put six to nine on my update because that is what they had. So, um, there's that. So, again, as you can see, let's move me over this way. So, NWS is forecasting pretty 
pretty moderate waves for us, I would say, the entire week. But Tuesday, it ramps up, probably going to be 6 to 9 feet is my guess. So that's going to bring some erosion. Not going to be flooding. High tide is going to be right around 5 o'clock in Ocean City. So I will be down there in the evening to get some footage. I am going to test out my unnamed camera, which I have donned. Set 1 or Storm Intercept Camera 1. I do have a happy friend helping out, which is, which, which is great because help is needed. As I found out, it's, it's very hard to put the straps on with one person because you kind of got to hold the camera and it just falls off and it's not really fun. So I will test out my camera. I might run it live. Um, probably not. If I can do it live, I will. If I can't, I'm not going to do it. I'll just post the footage afterwards. So I will be down in Ocean City on Tuesday night, Tuesday evening, um, getting coverage on this. It's not going to be again, no flooding, just maybe some overwash onto the um, parking, onto the little boardwalk by the uh, inlet in Ocean City. Again, the only concern is minor flooding and like light overwash in Ocean City. Not going to be a huge issue, which is great. Um, so this is a site I like to use a lot. It's called Windy. It can forecast waves, wind, as you can see, clouds, rain, thunder, radar, radar even. So this is the European model for Tuesday, right around 5 o'clock, no, around 2 o'clock, which is, let's, so let's go to 5 o'clock, which is right around high tide in Ocean City. Okay, I don't want to click that. Um, okay, I'll just go with that. Okay, that was weird. So they're forecasting six foot waves right around five o'clock with, as, as you can see, with a swell of five seconds and the sand winds right, right around 10 to 20 miles an hour with gusts. I'm going to guess gusts will be around 30 miles an hour for some spots. So again, not a big concern, which is great, but there's going to be just something to see if you're down there for like a day or two, just to go down to the coast and see some see some wave action. It's again, no flooding, no real issues, but again, minor erosion and just some nice waves to photograph and just see in general. So that's the only impact from that. So, so switching gears. Oh, I also posted a, a, a drone video of, of today's surf in Fenwick Island, Delaware, which should have some erosion. So that video is going to be in the description. So switching gears to the tropics. As you can tell, it's um, it's pretty active. We have um, Tropical Storm Sally right now. Let me move. Oops, I didn't mean to click the, the window. Let me just get my face. Okay, I got my face. Let's go over here. Okay, there we go. As you can see, we have Tropical Storm Sally, which is which was just named today. It's right off Key West. It is. I do think it is going to be a pretty decent problem especially for places like Gulfport, Mississippi, the Mouth of the Mississippi, and even into Mobile, Alabama, and even the Florida Panhandle. I, I did do a pretty detailed video on all the impacts from Sally, which, I'll, which the link will be in, in, the, in the description. So this is what Sally looks like right now. It's sunset in Florida. So I can't really get a good look of the uh, visible satellite, but here's the infrared doesn't it looks somewhat organized, a little just, but it does have a nice blow up of convection, some thunderstorms near the center, right south of Marco Island, which is which is where Hurricane Irma made landfall just over a, a year ago. So here's the latest cone from the National Hurricane Center. As you can see, it is going to make landfall as a hurricane Tuesday afternoon between Louisiana and Mississippi. Again, that's as of now, the cone is, is going to change. So if you live between, let's see, Mobile, Alabama, and and Lake Pontchartrain, southeast of there along the coast, if there's people there, I'm not really sure. It's, it's not very populated. But if you live from southeast Louisiana all the way to Mobile, Alabama, you need to take those preparations right now. Today and tomorrow will be a great time to take those preparations, get gas, water, food, all you need, evacuate. I believe they have ordered evacuations outside the levees in New Orleans. I might be wrong on that, but I did hear that. So evacuations have already begun in 
in in Louisiana. Now to expect Mississippi and maybe even Alabama will follow those orders probably tomorrow. So once you do hear those orders, once you do hear those orders, plead heed those orders and get out of there. Um, this area is very familiar with hurricanes. You've had Hurricane Katrina, Ike, among many others. Not this is not going to be like a Hurricane Katrina, of course, but it is going to be a problem because, as, as you can see, the rainfall. For, this is one of the the impacts. Rainfall, it's a lot. I'm talking about six to fifteen inches of rain with a little dot of of two feet just off the coast. So it is going to be it is an issue of rainfall wise and. Storm surge wise, because the National Hurricane Center has life threatening surge forecasted for parts of the area. Anything over five feet really is, is life threatening. Once you get to six feet, that's when you have problems. Six feet is over the average person's head. It is, going, it is a problem to survive. So I did more detail in my discussion about Sally, which again, video of both will be will be in the description. Bottom line, please stay safe, folks down there. And so this gets me to my next point, Patreon. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did form a Patreon for those who wanted to get ex exclusive access. I will post some stuff that anyone else will not get the chance to see, only you all. So once you sign up, there's certain tiers. You can access to the hurricane cams. You can get early access to the blogs, the videos all that stuff. So if you are interested, the link to the Patreon is in the link. The, the smallest fee is $1. That's it. $1 is all it takes to sign up to get exclusive access to the blogs. So that's that's all. I will post those videos in the description. A nice day today in Salisbury and Delmarva and some wave action coming Tuesday. And, and as always, stay safe. And I'll be back tomorrow evening for the update on September 13th. I will see you all tomorrow.